All right, today I'll be painting trees in a building. I'm gonna be using acrylic paint on a little canvas, which I'm now putting tape on. I like to put tape on it so at the end I get a nice clean white border. But you don't have to do this with every painting. It's a fun thing to try though. Um, so first step is to take my charcoal. You could use a pencil if you want, uh, but I like to use charcoal because it's easy to erase. And I'm just drawing out the basic sketch that I'm gonna be painting after. Don't wanna to get too detailed, but I wanna make sure I have a little uh, blueprint for myself to follow so I don't have to make too many decisions when I have the paint. And speaking of paint, here's all my golden open acrylics. These are slow drying acrylics. And I chose four colors this week. Ultramarine blue, sap green, benzum blah, 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 yellow, and naphthol red light, and then some white. And this is a open thinner. It basically just makes the paint a little thinner so it goes smoother. I'm using a round tipped brush here for most of this painting. So here's my colors put on my palette and I'm gonna start with the trees. Um, so being green trees, I'm gonna use this sap green color uh, that I have, which is a little dark, so I'm gonna add yellow to it to make it, to keep it nice and bright green. If I added white, it might get a little too gray. And then here's the, the thinner, so just to make it kind of flow a little bit nicer. It's nice to have this thinner. You can use water, but water, might mess up the structure of the paint and cause cracking and stuff. Adding some blue in to darken it back out. I want to get a nice green color. I like mixing multiple colors together instead of just using one out of the tube. But uh, uh, this looks like a nice green. So I'm going to start and with no scrubbing, I'm just going to do little marks. I think of like putting stickers down. Dip, dip, dip. Just touching the canvas over and over for because this is all going to be leaves. Um, don't scrub as much if you want this type of look. Just one little mark after the next. And here I go real fast. Um, and I'm slowly changing the color, adding white, adding yellow, adding blue, so that all the leaf areas are a little bit different. And I'm keeping an eye on the actual photo I'm copying to give me the answers to how dark an area should be, or how bright, how yellow, or how blue, or sometimes how gray. So yeah, this is a this is a fun process, and it's sort of relaxing because it doesn't take too much thought. Essentially, you're just um, you're just going going little by little. Now I'm switching gears here and switching to this pinkish yellow color, tan, because that's the color of the building that's behind the trees. So my first goal sort of when painting is to fill up the whole canvas and get rid of all the white. So now that I've got most of the tree areas in, I'm gonna go in with the opposite of green, which is a red, and get my reddish colors in. Um, so this is kind of a yellowish, actually this is more like a, like a light flesh tone. And I'm just going to paint the whole building with this. A little bit darker under where the door is. And there's a little bit of a stained glass thing at the top of the door, and there's a window up above it. So here's that, after some fixing. Looks pretty good already, and this is just a first coat. So I've let it dry. And now I'm going back in with, actually no, this is the blue at the top. Just a little bit of the sky poking up right at the top and I'm coloring a little bit of blue um, at the very top of the picture, but also poking little dots through the trees. I try to think of like, usually you can see the sky through the trees. And I like to do the sky on top. Um, just makes it a little easier. So there we go. And the next step is to add a little bit more leaves and foliage in the trees and kind of l build this painting up. So now it's dry, I can go in and do that. 
All right. So yeah, this is a great thing about acrylic paints. It dries so fast, so you can wait until it's dry and then add more leaves right on top. This will give a nice depth to your painting and also you can fix any mistakes you made. Maybe too you made it too dark or too bright. It's really easy to just mix a new color and put it right on top. And you'll leave you could leave some of the old color under and it just makes your painting that much more complex. So here I am just adding little bits of lighter yellow into the tree. Again, mixing around my palette, just kind of picking up little colors, knowing that they're gonna mix together on my brush. And because they're all shades of green, I don't really mind if my brush is dirty while I do this. Though I do like to wash my brush in clean water fairly regularly, just so that the bristles stay nice and soft. Because if the paint dries on the bristles, then it can get kind of harsh and hard. So, I'd like to keep it a little bit clean. After this, I'm going to do some more adjustments in, in the darks. So I'm mixing a black color, or it's going to be really dark gray essentially with the red and the blue and I'm putting in all the fine lines now and all the dark colors so there's fine lines around the door and around the windows and just kinda of cleaning up all the edges that because I was so loose at the beginning they were a little bit messy so this means that this is getting towards the final stages of the painting when I start getting all these fine lines so here I am and about here is where I thought, hey, I think this is done. And so I get to do the most satisfying part, which is removing the tape. So watch how satisfying this is. See those uh, kind of messy edges get cleaned right up. Woo! Ah, that looks nice. That feels nice. So let's clean up that si other side just by taking the tape off. And just like that, I have a nice, clean border on it. Oh, I actually, I didn't get the film in there, but I used my uh, palette knife to scra scratch a little scratch all over the painting, too, just to give it a nice look. The next day, I decided, hey, I don't think this painting's done, so I went in here and actually added in more dark blacks, because I figured they're... I didn't have anything actually close to black on my painting, so I wanted to really increase the contrast and the depth. So you can see here, by adding all these dark colors, the blacks, into the shadows, it kind of makes, makes it a little bit more three-dimensional. I also go in with some bright whites as well, because you want a nice full spectrum of color on most nature photos I would say from black to white and then all the middle colors and shades um, so yeah here's the finished product I think it turned out pretty good at the very end I added all that b bright yellow and I hope you enjoy and I hope you get paint in yourself alright take care <laughs>